Hey everyone, Trollbender here with Trolls Tech. Got some good news for RTX card owners. DLSS 3.5.1 is here and introduces ray reconstruction for a nice boost in quality. Yes, now we have three separate DLL files to experiment with. The Ray Reconstruction DLL comes in at version 3.5. Frame Generation and regular DLSS also got an update to version 3.5.1. So far, testing has yielded identical results to 3.5. Ray Reconstruction will work on any NVIDIA RTX card and game that supports it, unlike frame generation, which is only for the 4000 series NVIDIA cards. Ray reconstruction optimizes ray tracing by filling in areas of a scene that were not ray traced. It removes messy denoisers in place of AI trained neural network data. The results are actually quite surprising. In simpler words, the DLSS AI cores have been trained on countless images to recognize more realistic lighting scenarios in games at faster rates. In turn, this should boost frame rate and image quality simultaneously on games with ray tracing enabled. As far as version experimenting with the newest addition to the DLSS DLL family, we'll have to wait. There's only one version as a post of the date of this video. I do know that replacing the Ray Reconstruction DLL file will be the same as the manual process for the regular DLSS and DLSS frame gen files. Check out my other videos on how to do that. After testing this in Cyberpunk, I found Ray Reconstruction absolutely improved quality over regular Ray Tracing Ultra. However, it did not produce the frames boost I was personally hoping for. In 10 runs of testing with DLSS set to auto and quality, Ray Reconstruction fell behind regular Ray Tracing by double digits, sometimes as many as 20 frames per second. For example, regular DLSS with out ray tracing or reconstruction gives me 110 frames per second average and still looks great. For reference, I'm using a 13700F, an RTX 3080, 64 gigs of RAM, and all my drives are NVMEs. We tested with the latest video, Windows, and device drivers and the latest BIOS. I also ran this test twice with P cores enabled and disabled with little change in the performance metrics. My current conclusion is that ray reconstruction is beautiful compared to just ray tracing. It still needs some time to mature though. It does provide a frame boost on RTX 4000 NVIDIA cards with frame generation enabled according to other tests out there on the internet. My real question here is what happened to raw horsepower in GPUs? Suddenly no new game will run without DLSS or FSR or some sort of AI core trickery? Where's the raw horsepower, the raw FPS without turning this shit on? If you're concerned as I am, leave a comment below. This has been Trollbender for Trolls Tech. I love you people.